What's going on guys, Fuller here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with a highly anticipated, much requested video. So this is the top five hybrid tires. Uh, now these are in no particular order, but just to run through them for you, this is gonna be the Nitto Ridge Grappler. We're looking at the Eturo Trailblade XT, Fury Country Hunter RT, which is a brand new tire, then the Amp Terrain Attack ATA, which is a super long name, and the Toyo Open Country RT. And before we jump into it, I do wanna let you know, we pretty much do giveaways all the time. So if you're watching this video as soon as it gets uploaded, if you pick up this t-shirt on our website, that's gonna get you automatically entered to win a full build, wheels, tires, suspension, lighting, the whole shebang. So with that, we'll jump into it. We're gonna start on the, my left-hand side here, your right. This is with the Nitto Ridge Grappler. Now, all of these tires are all uh, 35 tall, 12 and a half wide for a 20 inch wheel, which is pretty standard size. Lots of people order that, which is why I picked it, so you can get a good comparison. So most of the time you can't see these all side by side in the same video or in photos, so it's kinda nice to lay them all out. So, Nitto Ridge Grappler is by far like the most popular tire that we recommend for people uh, because this is a hybrid tire like all of these are. It's a cross between your all-terrain and your mud terrain. So you kind of get some mud terrain looks with all-terrain performance so they don't wear down so quickly. So this particular one, uh, they offer this in an F load, which is something you don't always see. So basically it means this tire is capable of handling more weight than an ELO tire would be. So it's a load index 125, which is 3,640 pounds. So this is definitely a tire that you can use on your three quarter ton or one ton or dually truck if you have an application like that and it'll hold up fairly well. Um, one interesting thing about this tire that not a lot of other ones have is it's gonna be two different sidewalls. So on one side you'll see this is what I call the Baja style sidewall, where everything's very straight cut and it's just big blocks placed on the outside. And the opposite side is a little more, I guess a little more stylish, uh, still very aggressive looking, but it's got angular cuts and it's just not quite as like straight up and down as the opposite side. And you can select which one you want at checkout. So these guys are also 70 pounds. A lot of people asked us to include the weight, so I'll cover that on all of these. Uh, 70 pounds is relatively typical for 35 by 12 and a half in a hybrid uh, size. These don't have a mileage warranty, but they do have a full manufacturer's warranty, which is again, is something that's pretty typical. One thing you do have to note though, is that uh, it's available in an E-load and an F-load. If you get the E-load and you put it on your three-quarter ton truck, you can probably only expect to get like 35,000 miles out of it, which isn't good. However, they do sell an F-load, which is what's supposed to be on your heavy-duty truck. And then we've seen people get as high as 60,000 miles out of these things. They do really last a good time. Uh, performance in the wet is, uh, I think, significantly better on these than the sister tire, which is the Open Country RT on the opposite side. Uh, pretty decent in the snow as well. I know we just put these on the Seaboys. Uh, they have their truck here, put these on their truck. They obviously do a lot of snowmobile stuff in the winter. Wanted a good tire that would get them through the snow, still be able to pull their trailer, not have a giant lift on their truck. So we hooked these guys up with the Nittle Ridge Grappler. So large outer um, shoulder blocks here. And then the center is a little more tightly packed. That's basically to help reduce road noise. Um, it's just when it's smaller and tighter together, you got less space in there, basically less humming going on, but still plenty of large contact patches on the outside so you have good traction uh, in dry conditions and then big enough grooves that if you're in water, you know, you can shed water out of it or mud or anything like that, you got plenty of space going on there. Jumping then, oh, I probably didn't tell you how much this costs. This one is gonna run you uh, 14, just under 1,500 bucks for this set of four. That's shipped to your door for free shipping in the lower 48 states. You buy wheels and tires together as a package. We'll mount them and balance them for free too. Now we can move to the Atrural Trail Blade XT. So this one too, the first thing right off the bat that a lot of people notice is it looks a little bit more narrow. Now technically it's the same size, 35 by 12 and a half R20, but just due to the sidewall design where the shoulder blocks are angled, it does make that tire appear a bit smaller. So if that's something you're concerned about, now you at least know uh, beforehand. Tread pattern on this one, you can see there's a lot more of these like center blocks as compared to the Nitto where it has larger ones. So there's a ton going on here, but because there is so much, that does help you get some decent mileage out of these things. And then the edges are still very large chunks that are well separated. So if you did need to get through some mud or something like that, occasionally drive down a gravel road, you don't have to worry about uh, getting stuck or anything like that. Sidewall on here is uh, fairly aggressive considering it's a hybrid tire. There's a ton of extra rubber there. So if you're that guy that bounces off the curbs all the time, maybe this is the tire for you. Um, otherwise, 
off-road situations, obviously, if you're driving through rocks or something like that, or in really deep mud, you can actually use all these extra side biters to actually propel yourself through there. Uh, loading this 121, it's pretty standard, load range E. This tire is a bit lighter at 64 pounds. I think a lot of that is just due to the uh, lack of rubber, uh, basically on the outside to make this tire a bit wider. Uh, and then they're only gonna run just over $1,000. So it's a relatively affordable tire if you're looking for a set of four of them. And this also does have the full manufacturer's warranty. Jumping to the Fury, uh, this is a brand new tire that we actually don't have a ton of experience driving on, but tons and tons of people have ran the Fury Country Hunter MT. This is the Fury Country Hunter RT, which is basically just their hybrid version of that tire. We've got the MT on our uh, Super Duty SEMA build and don't really have any complaints there. So I'm expecting this to also be a fairly good tire. It's gonna be your load index 125 and load range F. So that's really nice to see that you can use this on your heavy duty trucks, uh, or if you want that extra strength, essentially, you know, like I said, like over 3,600 pounds of load carrying capacity at max pressure. So we expect to see, based on the mud tire performance, people easily get uh, 40,000 out of those. So we'll expect to see at least 40,000 out of these guys. They also weigh 70 pounds, which is pretty typical. Uh, and you're gonna run you about $1,145 for the set of four of them. And again, a full manufacturer warranty uh, on this tire. So moving then from the Fury over to Amp, this is another one that we get a lot of questions on all the time. People ask, is uh, Amp a good brand? Are Amp tires a decent tire? And for the price you pay for these things, I think they definitely uh, do a pretty good job. So like I said, this is the Train Attack ATA. They've got a mud terrain obviously too, just like everybody else does. This one too is more separated. This actually looks very similar to the Fury mud tire where you have not a lot of little pieces of rubber sticking up here, not a lot of tread blocks. The edge ones are much larger. Uh, the center ones aren't that much smaller and still well separated apart. They do have a lot of steps on the side of the uh, tread block so as you wear these down you can basically see if you're at you know two thirty seconds of wear or four thirty seconds of wear which is kind of nice if you're that guy that checks your tires all the time um, decent amount of siping on here as well which is something nice to see so that you know hopefully in the uh, wet conditions or in snow you'd still have a good amount of traction here sidewall as well is these little like triangle shapes that do look pretty aggressive. I kind of like the sidewall on here. And a lot of people are going for, they want to get the most mileage out of their tires, but still have it look aggressive. But everybody knows if you go with a very aggressive mud tire, you're not going to get that mileage. So um, a lot of companies now are trying to put those aggressive sidewalls on with a little less aggressive tread pattern. So you do get those miles. Load index 121, which is going to be about 3,200 pounds load carrying capacity. It's a load range E. It only weighs 66 pounds, which is nice. You get a full manufactured warranty. Typically, you're going to see these things anywhere from 35 to 40,000 miles. So you get a little bit less on the mileage, but you pay less than a thousand bucks for the set of four. They're like $960 or something like that uh, on the website right now. Lastly is the Toyo Open Country RT. So this is basically the sister tire to the Nitto Ridge Grappler. Uh, they're actually made in the same plant and everything down in Georgia, which I got the chance to see. Um, radial construction, which is something that is also nice. It's not really anything new or exciting, but basically there's no seams in this tire. It's all built together as one piece and then the tread pattern is like pressed into it without explaining the entire process in depth. So again, very similar to the Ridge Grappler where we see tighter pattern in the center, still decent sized uh, tread blocks, the shoulder blocks on the side as well, fairly large, consistent spacing on the outside. Uh, and then as far as the sidewall goes, a little less aggressive than we'd like to see. So I was actually at Toyo recently, told those guys, make the RT, but make it perform like the Ridge Grappler and give me a more aggressive sidewall, and then you're gonna sell a ton of these things. So that's my opinion on this one. Uh, in the wet, I do think the Nitto Ridge Grappler performs better than the Toyo Open Country uh, RT. However, what's something that's nice about this one is that it does come with a 45,000 uh, mile mileage warranty. So you do pay a little bit more for that, about 1,600, 1,700 bucks uh, in the 35, 12 and a half. Obviously all these prices are for these sizes of tires. If you drop down a little bit or go up in size, those prices do change. But those are your top five hybrid tires. If you have any questions on these or any other tires, you can always drop those in the comments below or check out the website that's gonna answer it all for you at customoffsets.com. Peace.